Alright, so lucky for me. See that symbol over there on the left side? That's where we're going. The boss just happened to be there. Alright, so coming through, coming through, coming through now. It's Overdrive Ostrich. So this stage. Very large desert. Very fitting song for the desert. And we also have a particular gimmick that makes this stage stand out. But, if I remember correctly, very early on, in fact right here, if you have Wheel Gator's weapon, you can cut your way through this dirt and find a secret door. So, if you ever find a door that won't open, then wait until the X-Hunters appear, and then if the X-Hunter is on the map, then you can go into that door and fight one of them. And it seems today, we'll be fighting Violin. It's called Violin, because he's violent. Alright, so this attack right here, that's nothing. Uh, it is more significant uh, when he does that from the ground. However, this is his most dangerous attack. Uh, when he throws out the big iron ball. Uh, well, spiked ball. It's big ol' spiky ball. Very bad. Uh, it's very hard to predict. Uh, it does work a little bit on physics, like you can kind of see how it bounces around. It's not entirely random, but also, it's not enough of a physics object where you can perfectly guess where it's going to be. I can sort of see the logic in that trajectory. When I'm not playing the game, and I don't have to look at it while worrying about dodging it, I can figure it out. It cannot be! Now the unification is in jeopardy! My religion, no! You got a secret Zero part. Alright, so we just have part of Zero's corpse. Cool, cool, totally normal thing to have in my inventory. Alright, well, anyway, now that that's done, we can actually play the stage proper. But in the meantime, until I get to the gimmick, which I think I'm actually going to in a moment, Yep, okay, so we actually have a bike here that we can ride. Uh, this will hover over spikes, it's a, it's a hover bike. We'll still fall into pits, killing you instantly, so don't fall into pits. And also, it's very hard not to lose the bike, uh, but I'm going to have to not lose the bike. I'm gonna have to pass the thing making the sandstorm because it's really the best way to nab this heart right here. Though, as a note, side spikes will still kill you. Yeah, I know, it's kind of, um, rude. But that heart is just designed to have your head. I think there is a way to get it without the bike, but it's also very difficult. Anyway, main drive, what does that mean? It means air dash. God, I really could have used that for the violin fight, actually. Alright, so... With this, we get new boots. Very stylish. Alright, so, air dash, very nice. This is just real good. Not as necessary as the base dash, of course. Uh, I think, you know, it's fine that you don't start with this. It is a very fun mobility option to use, and definitely one I'm fond of, but not strictly necessary. It's good as a bonus. Anyway, this is automatic, but <laughs> X will bring out his turbo controller to just blow up this missile, which I guess we were trying to stop this, so good job, X. You did it. However... It seems Overdrive Ostrich does not appreciate that we stopped his plan? Was this your plan, or did you just happen to be in the area? Okay, so this is a very large arena, and oh god, okay, so when he does that, you're gonna want to go under him. Uh, if you don't go under him and you run into him, uh, he will just kick you. So yeah, like I said, big arena, but you're going to want to stay on screen with Overdrive Ostrich as much as possible. And that's the reason why, uh, anytime Overdrive is Ostrich is not on screen, he will shift to the background and basically just try to ambush you from the back. Despite the fact that he's the speedy character, it's very easy to get him out of frame, but uh, no, you cannot hit him from off screen, because again, he does that every time. 
But you know, it's so easy to leave him behind. Like, sometimes I'm not even trying, it'll just do it anyway. Uh, like, I'm sure if you know what you're doing with him, it's actually pretty easy to control the fight. Otherwise, I would imagine this fight must be a nightmare to speedrunners. If you get him off camera for just a little too much, just for a single second, then you have a whole other animation attack on there. Anyway, that one's not difficult to dodge, though. The, the real one is the one I didn't even mention, but when he jumps up into the air and does his pose, uh, and drops boomerangs from the sky, that's his hardest attack, because squeezing between those is a pain. Anyway, we got the Sonic Slicer. And that's it! So, uh, I did not, in fact, get to mention why the X-Hunters are a pain. So I guess I'll get around to that next time? Maybe I'll also fight one of the other two next time. In the meantime, though, we can be proud we shook Overdrive Ostrich like he's heat. Overdrive. If this is the first time you've ever understood what Lotus Juice is saying in that song, um, you're welcome.